I will calm down when this man come up off them Eagles shirts, them Eagles jackets, them Eagles sweatpants, them Eagles hats and beanies. Strip this man of his belongings and get him a bottle of Philly. Period. <laughs> What's up? What's happening? What is popping? What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to another great edition of Smo with the Spizzards. I'm Smo. I'm bringing guys daily sports talk. So if you're new here, if you're older here and you haven't already subscribed to my channel, stop what you're doing. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Keep rocking with me. Also, make sure you check out the links down below. The first one is to buy me a coffee to help you this channel. The second link is to shop the official Smo with the Spizzards. A merch collection gets you the classic tee, the wavy tee, or the flower dye crew neck that I have been rocking lately. But lastly, guys, if you do not do anything else turn your notification bells on so you don't miss a single video or a single live stream and we will be going live on monday nights birds of broad street so make sure you have your notification bells on for that but y'all happy valentine's day love is in the air so don't come on here hating on valentine's day okay leave that hater she for every other day but Valentine's Day. Today is the day you're supposed to give love on Valentine's Day. Let me know, do y'all have any Valentine's Day plans? Do y'all have any Galentine's Day plans? Do y'all have any Palentine's Day plans? Um, Yes, so let me know down below what y'all doing. If you're not doing anything, that is just fine. Self-love, you know what I'm saying? Treat yourself with self-love as well on Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is about love. You can give love to yourself just like you can give love to others. So, yeah. But, y'all, also, I will be having... I do have some new sponsorships that I am excited about. So, I will be promoting some new things on this channel. Um, some Sixers. Um, some sponsorship deals with some merchandise. And, what do you call merchandise? Apparel brands. Apparel brands. So, I will be promoting Sixers gear, Phillies gear, of course, Eagles gear. Coming up soon. Um, on the channel, so be prepared to look out for that. And when you see something, buy something. Don't keep scrolling. I know y'all got money. Don't scroll past that GE when I post it. Buy it. Period. Period. But y'all, first of all, let me shake my pom poms, y'all, for a. For a, let me shake my pom poms, y'all, for this season, y'all. Woo! Okay, like I said, nobody, like Beyonce said, you won't break my soul. You won't break my soul. Nobody can break my soul, okay? I'm extremely proud and happy from this season, okay? We started last season two and five, brand new head coach, brand new quarterback one, brand new a lot of she, brand new offensive coordinator, brand new defensive coordinator. And we took that two and five, flipped it next season to eight and zero, oh, and went to the Super Bowl. The future is bright, you guys. We have two first round picks one in the top 10. We have our offense locked up. Jalen will be back. Devontae will be back. Dallas Goddard will be back. A.J. Brown will be back. We will have a good running back. Not sure if it's Miles. <laughs> but the offensive line is going to continue to be stout. Y'all, for like the last 10 years, our offensive line has been offensive lining. And that shout out to Jeff Stoutland and the way that we draft linemen. So we're going to be fine offensively, defensively. We're going to be just fine as well. You're not going to get me to be negative. Um, now, we do have to talk about some pieces, some pieces that we don't want to see back. But first, I have to get into this breaking news. Shane Steichen is now the head coach of the Indianapolis Colts. I don't get the Colts' infatuation with us. Taking us for everything we got. They took Frank Wright last time we went to the Super Bowl. Took Frank Wright. How did that work out for you? How? Then they went and took Carson Wentz. How did that work out for you? How? Now they're coming and taking Shane Steichen. If they like it, I love it. If y'all y'all want to test that, I I fully support um, Shane Steichen as an offensive coordinator. The only thing is, you just never know how these coordinators pan out as coaches. Look at Frank Wright, amazing offensive coordinator. When he became a coach, eh? look at Dan Quinn, really good defensive coordinator. When he became a head coach, eh? you know what I'm saying? So, like I said, I'm not sure how Shane is going to pan as a head coach, but you have to try and see. So, they gave Shane a head coaching job. Hopefully, somebody will come and take Jonathan Gannon off our hands. 
So it's looking like Brian Johnson, our quarterback coach, is going to be at least the interim offensive coordinator. I'm not sure if we're going to hire a new offensive coordinator or if we're just going to um, promote Brian Johnson. But right now, they're saying that Brian Johnson is going to be our new offensive coordinator from the quarterback coach to the offensive coordinator. Now, again, I don't know if that's just temporary and we're going to look for another offensive coordinator or what. Um, now, somebody please come take this man, Jonathan. Gain up off our hands, please. One thing I'm not doing, I'm saving my blood pressure. <clears throat> I'm saving my blood pressure for football season. Football season is over. You're not going to get my blood pressure up. You're not going to get my blood pressure up. My blood pressure is staying level until September. Okay? So, when I say these things, I got to take a deep breath because y'all know I be getting worked up and then my blood pressure be raising. So, let me take a deep breath. Jonathan Gannon, you called your last game in Philly, brother. Pack your bags and never put on Midnight Green again. I don't care what happens. I don't care where you go. I don't care what you decide to do. Just get your ass up out my city, boy. Okay? I don't care what happens this offseason. I never want to see Gannon on an eagle sideline again, period. That's my big overarching theme of the offseason. I will calm down when this man come up off them eagle shirts, them eagles jackets, them eagles sweatpants, them eagles hats and beanies. Strip this man of his belongings and get him to a out of Philly, period. And see, I'm getting worked up. Shane Steichen, congratulations. Again, somebody come get Jonathan Gannon. We will be talking about what we should do with this draft pick. We have a top 10 pick. We have a we have the number 10 overall pick and I guess the number 31 overall pick. We will see. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Um, the 10th overall pick from the Saints and then our own 31st and then our own first round pick. So we do have two first round picks to work with, which is great, especially since we've been doing such a great job um, drafting talent lately. And then of course we have to talk about some of these free agents. Um, Miles Sanders, James Bradbury, Chauncey Gardner um, Johnson. I really want Chauncey Gardner Johnson back. Javon Hargrave, I really want John Javon Hargrave back. Brandon Graham and Fletcher Cox, they're probably either retiring or they'll probably take a really, really cheap deal to stay in Philly, which is fine. Um, who else? Kaiser White, obviously he can walk. TJ Edwards. I'm kind of like, mid-season I was hype, hype, hype on the TJ Edwards trade, but now I feel like our linebackers overall just need a whole revamp. And sorry, TJ Edwards is in that group. Um... Honestly, y'all, when it comes to defense, I'm kind of ready to move up on off of Darius Slay. I've said this a couple of times before. I know he's still under contract, but we could trade him and try to get something back. We have to get younger at corner, much younger. It's going to be – we've already seen a decline and a slowdown in Darius Slay, which is natural. It's, it's the circle of life. But we need to get younger back there we need to get younger so maybe restructure his contract take some of that money from him so we could pay some other people or make a trade okay because like i said gannon needs to go and we also need to get a little bit younger preferably a darius slay <laughs> you know what i'm saying like the big plays the big play slays have been real regular play slays, subpar play slays since week two against the Vikings. But like I said, we're going to talk all about that later. Let me know what you guys think we should do with our free agents. Who are you hard-pressed to keep? And who do you not want to see in Philly again? Let me know. But guys, make sure you like this video. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Keep rock with me. Check out the links down below. Buy me a coffee after this channel. Shout out to the official one. This is the merch collection. And it's how I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.